Caleb, what game are we playing today? Expedition Famous Explorers. Ooh, and do you like Expedition Famous Explorers? Yes, I do. And why? Because it's just fun. It's just fun? Well, yeah. let's check out this board. Oh, whoa, whoa, what do we got here? We have got places <laughs> in the world. We have lots of places in the world. A lot of different dotted lines and circled lines, locations, lots of cards, arrows, whew, lots of different things. So, what's Expedition all about? Expedition is placing arrows to go where you want them to go. Okay. But other people can thwart you. Ooh. So it's a you can block or change things up along the way, huh? Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, what's the objective? The objective is to get the most points. Okay. And here's our nice little score track. I can see from those tokens that six people can play to keep points. Well, how do you get points? You get points by getting to destinations. Okay, so you've got those. Let me see. So that's your hand of cards? Mm-hmm. And why are they colored? Because... The colors tell you the general location, like blues in this area, yellows in this area. Oh, to help you area, find the location orange, better, huh? Green. Okay, that's great. That makes it easier to find your locations, huh? So, what happens when you get a route to that destination? You place your thing down, okay. make sure you've done it, and you get a point. Okay, and do you only score on your turn? Um, no. Ooh. You can score on other people's tokens. So if somebody else takes a route and goes through a destination of a card you have in your hand, then you, you play get a it point. down and say, okay, I get a point. Oh, I like that. Now, do you only have to do arrows of certain colors when you play them? No. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you show me how it's played? What do you do on your turn? On your turn, I play an arrow of my color of my choice. Okay. So I'll place it down right there. And that's it. All right. So the red expedition's headed off that way. And what happens when you hit a green spot? A green dot means you get to place an extra arrow. Okay. Does it have to be that same color? No. Okay. But I want it to be the same color to go to the Caspian Sea. Oh, so you're headed an expedition off that direction. Nice. Okay. And then that's your turn. And then it moves to the next player. Except for I just got a point off public destinations. Oh, you scored already? Yeah. Man, you're quick. So what are these over here? These are public destinations. Anybody can complete them. Oh, so there's six that are always face up. If you complete it, you What's take it, there? get a point. So it's good to keep an eye on what areas are public. Yeah. And what's in your hand to score more points. Yeah. Nice. And then is your turn done? Yeah. Okay. And it moves on to the next guy? Mm-hmm. All right, should we see what happens a little further along? Okay. All right. All right, Caleb. I can see there's a lot of routes around the board. A lot of development going on and routes going out and about in different ways. Mm-hmm. I take it it's your turn. Yeah. All right, what are you going to do? So I could do two ways. One way is to use two of my tickets... Ooh, and tickets. What are tickets? We haven't talked about those yet. So, tickets, you start with three of them. Okay. And... So that means you can earn more? Yes. These red spaces, if you go on those, they give you a ticket. And what can you spend them for? You can spend them for placing an extra arrow. Uh-huh. For switching out one of your cards. Okay. Or for removing an arrow. Oh, nice. And how many can you play on a turn? You've got five there now. Oh, yeah. You can play two. Oh, okay. So what are you going to do? I'm going to use these to remove these two arrows. Where were they going? They were just going off in a strange direction. I wanted it to go there. Why did you want it to go there? Because that is an important destination. They give you double points. Oh, so you get extra points if you go to one of your colored important destinations. Yes. And how do those get chosen? They get chosen by you. At the start of the game, you choose four of the cards in your hand to become important destinations. Ooh, and if you make it there, you get double points. Yes, I have Sweet. gone over two. Uh, okay. 
But it looks like somebody had this route going a different direction. Yes. Okay. So what are you going to do? I am going to use these two tickets to remove that. So you moved both arrows? Yeah, and place one there to okay. get the info destination. Nice, or yeah, get you there. Okay. I could give those to us, not use any tickets whatsoever. Okay. And do that. Okay, what does that do? That creates a loop. Okay, and what happens when you've got a loop? You get to place an extra one. Nice. So and I'm, where does that get placed? Wherever you want out of the loop. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to play it there and get an important destination. And now it's headed off through Bogota. Ooh, so there's a bit of strategy to go on, huh? Yeah. Okay, so when does the game end? When you run out of arrows or until someone gets rid of all their cards in the hand. And then what do you do at the end? You count points and see who won. Okay. But what if someone hasn't completed an important destination or are cards in their hand? That takes minus points. Ooh. So say I have not completed two of my cards, but one of them is an important destination. Okay. I lose one for the normal uh -huh. and two for the important destination. Ooh. Wow. So even at the end, you could go down some points. And people could just stay. Okay. Does it take a while to run out of those arrows? It looks like there's a lot of routes out there and still a lot of arrows left. Yeah. It takes a little time. So chances are this board gets very full and things yes. are not going the direction you want them to go. <laughs> yes. Huh? Yeah. Well, what would you rate Expedition Famous Explorers? I would rate it a five or four. A four out of five, huh? Yeah, four out Sweet. of five. Sweet. You like it? Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Thanks, Caleb. <laughs>Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.